Recording in progress. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Ron, BJJ. We'll limit it to two questions, guys, for coach. Andy, so, you know, after seeing how you guys opened this game in the first half, I mean, how, how much does this one hurt after, after seeing that performance in the second half? It's got to be more consistent. Obviously, we got to finish the first half. Um, the first half wasn't exactly stellar. Uh, we didn't. We didn't finish the half the way we're capable of, and we've been in these situations before, and we've got to be able to handle the last four. How difficult is that for a team when you go into the locker room on, on a down note like that? And, and and how can you as coaches kind of clean things up in the third quarter? This is the second game this season where you guys have really struggled in that corner. Yeah, we uh, we came out in the uh, in the third quarter, and, and we made some adjustments defensively. At, um, you know, to be able to slow down the Russian attack, some of the things they were doing to attack the fronts and where we're losing leverage. Um, we got to be able to make those adjustments earlier on in the in the uh, first half. But offensively is where the, you guys really struggled in the third quarter. How, how do you guys clean that up? What do you guys need to clean up? Yeah, so we got to go and look at the film and we got to just be more consistent moving the ball and, and put ourselves in better positions on, on uh, first downs and being able to move those sticks. Hey, BJ. Andy, uh, you know, obviously they were running the ball very effectively. They had come in struggling some, but they uh, rushed, you know, for well over 200 yards. What was the reason for the struggles there uh, on the going around defensively? Yeah, we got to do a better job up front um, with the fits in terms of the outside uh, zone plays. We weren't, we were, we were losing leverage and getting cut off on the backside. And again, we just said it, uh, we, we got to be able to fix that within the, the first half and not have to wait till so have time to be able to make those adjustments. We'll be quicker with that next time. What did you see on that uh, play where they rolled the dead, where you guys got the ball, but Dale obviously scored on the play. Uh, obviously a big swing there. Uh, you know, would you like to see them let that play out first before the review? Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they blew the whistle, BJ. So you know what it is. At that point, we're, we're lucky enough that it got uh, um, reviewed and we got the ball at that, at that spot. But yes, um, you know, it's it's part of the game. Let's go to Jay. Andy, you know, uh, you know, it, it's not too often that this this program has two losses this early, and I know you've had two really big challenges early in the season. But um, how do you guys respond to this, especially in the fashion that it ha that it happened? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, it it to come down to the wire like this and. Um, not to be able to finish, and we pride ourselves on on being able to finish. And so we've got to we've got to do a better job as coaches, number one, in starting and creating mechanisms to help us be able to finish these games um, at the end here. And um, we uh, through these uh, two losses early on, we've obviously we're going to be able to learn a ton that's going to carry us forward as we start to move into conference play. I think there was a stretch there in about twenty game minutes where you ran. Uh, I want to say it was like five to eight plays on offense. I mean, that, that's a that's a long stretch to have your defense on the field and your offense on the sideline. Um, how, how hard is it to overcome that when your offense hasn't been on the field for almost 20 games or has barely been on the field for almost 20 game minutes? Yeah, we've uh, we've got to be efficient when we get our opportunities. And again, we got to be able to we got to be much more efficient in the early downs, be able to get these sticks moving, put ourselves in better manageable situations if we even do get to third down. But we got to put ourselves in better manageable situations. We got to be quick with the ball. Um, we got to be able to get the ball out quick and, and not take negative yardage plays. Andy, thank you. Go to Adam. Hey, Andy. Um, how does it feel knowing that there are 36,702 fans in attendance for this game? Yeah, the crowd was awesome there. I mean, that's that's the atmosphere here that, you know, Bronco Nation and the support that they give. Uh, we got, obviously got to do a better job finishing for them. And we will. And again, it starts with us as coaches and we'll, we'll make sure that we, we do a great job of analyzing the things that we need to do. We'll implement some things to make sure that we have the confidence and the ability to execute better next time for the Bronco Nation. Thank you. Rachel, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jonah Dolmas has been extremely consistent over the past two years, uh, 14 to 15 on field goals. Uh, what did you see on that last? It sounds like maybe that last field goal did get touched a little bit or blocked. Yeah, it looked like we had a little bit of leakage over on the left side there of, you know, on the on the in the protection and uh, guy got his hand up there. So, um, again, 
we're going to have to go back and make sure that we, we look at that and, and clean that up. Um, in a critical situation like that, we've got to be better with our protection. It looks like uh, Davis Cutter got into the starting lineup tonight um, for you guys. Obviously, he had his first uh, career catch as a Bronco and then his first career TD. And uh, we also heard his dad was in attendance tonight. Um, obviously, you guys didn't win, but a little bright spot for him tonight. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, he, he's been the last couple of weeks, you know, he hasn't done, he hasn't got a lot of catches. You know, like you said, it's, it's his first catch, but what he's been through camp, what he's been since he's been here, how hard he works every day. Um, there's a lot of things that he does that are unsung, how he blocks for the running backs in the run game, um, how consistent he is. And, you know, with Steph being down, uh, it was an opportunity for him to step up. Got a will to finish it up. Hey, Andy, what did you think of JL's performance tonight? Yeah, JL's been pretty steady over the course of the season. He's made some uh, really big time plays. You know, he's been in and around the ball. And, um, you know, he was there again tonight. Uh, we just obviously uh, had a situation there where we were, uh, you know, on a takeaway where, where um, you know, there was a whistle. So we couldn't, we couldn't finish that play. And, a lot of physical, physical finishes, and and that's what um, you know. That's what he's capable of doing. And so we've we've got to just keep growing, keep building um, this mentality, the the ability to execute more consistently, especially within the fronts. Um, that's something we obviously got to work on. Thanks, Andy. Recording stopped.